Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Liz and I love sharing affordable home hacks and budget-friendly DIYs. So last year, I showed you guys a hack with these aluminum foil pans where I put ice in here. Then I took another aluminum foil pan, put it on top, and then added in some fruit. So it was a way to keep your fruit or any items you're wanting to keep cold when you're having a party nice and cold. Somebody suggested, why don't you actually fill this pan up with water instead of using ice, then freeze it, and it'll work the same way. And I thought, that is genius. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna fill this pan up just a little full, maybe like a half inch or an inch with water. I'm gonna place it into my freezer. Now you can add your fruit into your top container. I just have some strawberries or blueberries here, but really you could use any fruit or really this is a great way to keep anything cold. Now, if you guys are wondering about this marble mat that I have, this is actually a stone mat that soaks up liquid really well. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll link it for you down in the description box, along with any other products I'm showing in this video. Now I'll just add in my fruit. All right, you guys, now it's completely frozen, so I'm gonna put my fruit on top. I love this hack. I think it's a perfect way to keep my fruit cold at my next get together. I think most of us are at the point now where we have so many photos on our iPhones that we need to declutter. So this is a really easy way to declutter because I don't know about you, but I have trouble deleting screenshots or pictures that I took just recently. So I found a better way to declutter is to actually go into your pictures, then hit the search button. Then you're going to type in a month and a year that's about a year old. You could even do two years old. So I typed in January, 2022. This is going to bring up all the pictures that I put in my camera last January. I had 344 pictures and it's so much easier now to just delete screenshots that I haven't looked at in over a year. I'm probably not going to go back to old things that I just know I'm not going to ever look back on. So that's a way you can easily declutter your camera roll and not have so many photos in your iPhone. Do you have hangers like this just around your house? You don't really use them and maybe you're getting ready to throw them out. Well, before you throw them out, you can actually break off these little clips on the side. You can use these in your kitchen as chip clips. That was so easy and a great way to recycle. Have you ever gone to change out your AA batteries on something and all you have is a AAA battery? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make a AAA battery work instead of having to go out and buy new AA batteries. For this hack to convert your AAA battery to a AA battery, you're gonna need a AAA battery and some aluminum foil. You're gonna peel off a little bit and you're going to wad it up and put it on the side where the spring goes. Then you'll put your battery in and it should work just like a AA battery. That totally worked. Such a cool hack. I get comments all the time with people saying, Liz, I love the labels you make on the Cricut machine, but I don't have a Cricut. So if you don't have one and you just have a computer and a printer, I wanna show you how you can make your own labels. So I have these three jars here that I wanna label. I went into Word and I typed out the labels I wanted and printed them off on a regular inkjet printer. So I have pasta, Cheerios, and rice. Next, I'm going to cut out my label. Then I picked up some packing tape and I'm gonna cut the packing tape off and put it directly onto my label. Then I will take the label with the packing tape on it and submerge it into warm water for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'm gonna start rubbing the paper off the back. Pull it out of the water once you get all the paper off and let it dry completely. Then you can stick it directly onto your jars. This is an easy way you can have labels without using a Cricut. I feel like these turned out awesome if you're looking for an affordable way to customize some of the containers in your kitchen. 
There's so many different ways that you can clean your blinds and there's a lot of hacks for cleaning your blinds as well. So I'm gonna try out two different ones and let you know which one I prefer. So this first one, you need a pair of just really inexpensive tongs. You could use tongs you already have at your house. These are from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take the tongs and then I have a microfiber cleaning cloth that I'm just going to wrap around one of the sides of my tong. Then I'm going to use a rubber band to secure it in place. And I'll repeat that on the other side. Now you can clean your blinds by clamping down on the tongs and rubbing them along your blinds. It's gonna collect all the dust here. And then when you're done, just remove the rubber bands and you can throw these in your washing machine. Now I think even a simpler hack, we'll see how it goes, are these gloves that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll link them for you down in the description box. But essentially what you do is you just put these gloves on and then you can just put your hands in between the blinds on the top and the bottom. It's gonna collect all of the dust in your hand. And then when you're done, pull them off and put them in your washing machine and they're completely reusable. Let me know down in the comments which one of these hacks you prefer, the blue or the yellow. I think me personally, I like the gloves better because I can just run my hands down the blinds and I think it cleans it a lot faster. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is hack. So you know when you have these bags without any closure and you only use a little bit of them, but you don't really have a good way to secure them, let me show you this next hack. So what you're gonna do is just take your pair of scissors, you're gonna cut down on one side, cut on the other side, and then in the middle. What you've now created is two little handles that you can easily tie together to close your bag. Now let's say you're moving or maybe just carrying a lot of things in and out of your house and you want your door to keep from locking. You can use this rubber band hack. So you're gonna take a rubber band, wrap it around one of the doorknobs, cross it over, and then put it on the other doorknob. This is gonna keep that center portion from latching so you can easily go in and out of your door. I saw this hack on TikTok for how you can actually peel your garlic so easily and I thought there's absolutely no way this works. Essentially what you do is just put a knife into the bulb and it pulls the garlic straight out without having to peel it or anything. So I'm gonna be trying a butter knife and I also have my garlic here. So let's see if this hack works. So I'm gonna take the knife, put it into the bulb. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Let's see if I can try it again. I mean, I will say it's kind of easier than cutting it. You just push it in and you're supposed to pull it out, but it doesn't take the skin. Well, it kind of took the skin off there. Let's try it on this side, you guys. Okay, you take the knife, put it into the bulb, and you're supposed to pull it out. Oh, maybe you kind of press to the side. I mean, that did work. It didn't get it completely out though. I would say that kind of worked with the butter knife, but I'm gonna try something a little bit sharper. I'm actually going to use a steak knife. So I'm just going to stick the steak knife in here and see if I can pull it out without having any skin on it. <gasps> it worked that time. <laughs> okay, what? that may have been a fluke. Let's try it again. Okay, now see that has the skin on it. I definitely would say it works sometimes. Like sometimes I pull it out and it came out completely clean. Other times I would pull it out, the bulb would come out, but it would still have the skin on it. So honestly, I would say this hack works about 50% of the time, but it's an easy way to just pull off a couple of bulbs of garlic. So I think it's worth giving it a try. I have filmed a lot of videos in my bedrooms, around my beds, and I always want my sheets to look perfect, nice and crisp, almost like I ironed them but didn't. So I have a trick to make my sheets look as neat as possible. So after you put your sheets and your comforter on your bed, simply spray them with a little bit of water and then you're going to tug at the edges. This is going to get any wrinkles out of your sheets 
They'll dry up in about 20 minutes and they look so much better. So if you're wanting a nice crisp and straight sheets, try this hack out. Next, we're gonna do a Dollar Tree bathroom hack using cabinet shelves. So you need to pick up two of these cabinet shelves at Dollar Tree and you're gonna start by flipping them over. So you're gonna go about halfway between your shelf and you're going to set it down so that they're about evenly spaced out. So all four of your legs are evenly spaced out. Then you're going to need some zip ties. We're gonna use the zip ties to hold this in place. You can use any color. I'm gonna to try to go in with this clear one. So I'm gonna start with zip tying and just get it as tight as possible. Then I'm gonna to come to the other edge and zip tie that in place. So that's holding right there pretty steady. And now I'm just going to go in and put two more zip ties at this end down here. So it's nice and secure now. If you needed some additional zip ties, you could always put one or two in the center here. I'm just gonna cut off the extra like links on my zip ties. Now to make this into a towel rack that you can put on your wall, what we need to do is bend these pieces up so that the towels will fit in at an angle. All right, so you just wanna check them and try to get them about the same level if possible. Now you can hang this on the wall with some command hooks in your bathroom and add in your towels. If you guys love seeing home hack videos, consider following me on my second channel, Liz Fenwick Daily. I post daily DIYs and hacks on that channel. Do any of you have tennis shoes that look like this? These are my kids' tennis shoes. They are completely dingy. They are not white anymore. So we're gonna try to fix that problem with this next hack. We are going to use denture cleaner with the shoes to try to get them white again. So I'm gonna start by filling up a large tub. You could also use your sink to do this with, but I'm gonna fill up a large tub with some warm water. Now I'm gonna drop four denture cleaner packets into my water. All right, time to add in these shoes. All right, so we're gonna let these sit and soak for probably about 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'll come back and check and see if they need a little bit longer. I may move them around a little bit just to make sure they're completely being submerged. I decided just to add a little bit more water. All right, you guys, so there's a lot of dirt in this container, but honestly, they're still pretty dirty. Normally, I'll put them in the washing machine with OxyClean, and I'm still gonna have to do that with these. So honestly, denture cleaner, I'm gonna say, is a fail for whitening up tennis shoes. Have you ever been out of the store and wish that you had a measuring tape so you could measure furniture or different home decor pieces that you wanna bring into your home? Well, here's a hack you can try. A dollar bill measures about six inches long. So if you don't have a measuring tape, pull out a dollar bill and you can use it to measure the different items to find out roughly how long something is. Delaney showed me this idea for this bucket hack and I have to tell you guys, I thought it was wild, but we're gonna try it out. <laughs> so essentially what you're going to need is a dustpan and a bucket. So here's the scenario. Have you ever tried filling up a bucket underneath your sink and the sink is too small, you can't fit the bucket under there and you just can't fill it up with water? Well, what you need is this dustpan. So you're actually going to use this dustpan as a way to funnel water from your faucet down into the bucket. So we're gonna try this out in my bathroom and see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna keep my bucket here. I'm gonna turn on the water and then I'm going to place it in here and try to make it go into my dustpan. Let's see if this works. I don't know. This is pretty cool, guys. It's actually working to fill up this bucket in my bathroom. If you're like me, you don't really like cutting up oranges. This is the way that you only have to make one cut in your orange. So you're gonna start by slicing it in half. After you slice your orange in half, you're simply going to peel it back. Then you can just easily eat the slices. It definitely works, but my hands are pretty messy now. So I don't know about this one. We'll see if I can do it on this side. You just pull the orange back. Uh. 
Well, if you didn't have a knife with you, this may be one that you want to try. But honestly, this one's kind of a fail for me. A lot of times I get really nervous to travel with my makeup. I'm worried that it's going to break. So here's a hack you can try when you're traveling. So if you have a compact like this, this would even work for your powder or your blushes. Take a few disposable cotton pads and you're just going to set them directly on your makeup. Then latch this in place and that is going to create a barrier while you're traveling so that your makeup doesn't break. If you get containers like this for your drinks in four packs or six packs, don't throw them out. I have a way you can recycle them. So after you've used all of the drinks in here, this makes an awesome storage container. Since I love crafts, I kept thinking this would be perfect to put spray paint in just to kind of organize it so they don't roll around. So I can put four cans of spray paint in here. But you could also use this in your craft space as well. And if you wanted to get even fancier, you could paint it. Let me know which of these home hacks you'll be trying and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.